everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am very, very, very excited because tomorrow I'm actually going out to see Avengers Endgame, which I have been waiting so long to watch and I don't know if I'm ready. But what I do know I'm ready for is some awesome uh, fan art. And yeah, today I'm actually going to be painting and drawing a uh, Rocket Raccoon. Now, I decided on this character mainly because he's non-human and it would be a little bit easier for me to not draw a human character in a realistic sort of style. I definitely have not got that down pat, but I will try that in the future. But today I wanted to do a bit of a more slightly realistic uh, artwork of Rocket Raccoon. Now I'm actually doing this with uh, a few different mediums. I wanted to make this a bit of a multimedia, multi uh, mixed media artwork and yeah um, I had a lot of fun. Now um, I'm actually starting off with the background. Now this is because I usually like to draw the background because then that's the main part of the artwork done and I can work on uh, shading the character and working on the contrast of the character uh, to go with the background if that makes sense. Now drawing a character who is from Guardians of the Galaxy. How can I not do a galaxy background in that? Um, I definitely jumped at the idea of drawing a galaxy because that is one of my favorite things to draw and also uh, one of my favorite things to do with watercolor paints. As you've probably noticed in the past, I have recently tried to uh, pick up my watercolor paintbrush again and sorry about that <laughs> pick up my watercolor paintbrush again and do some painting so um, my favorite part to do with the background is basically a watercolor background and that's what I usually love to do with my watercolors um, I love doing mixed media I love mixing art supplies together and getting the best of both worlds I usually don't like to do a whole artwork with just one art supply I like to mix things up and uh, sort of get the benefits of everything uh, in one artwork so for the main part of the background the main layers in this galaxy I actually decided to use my favorite watercolor color uh, dioxazine purple and I love this color so much it's just a really sort of deep transparent purple and uh, when you do it thick it's really really dark and deep and nice and when you uh, sort of dilute it a bit more um, it's really sort of vibrant and bright and it's just a nice cool purple color that I really really love now after I got those main layers down I went over again once it was dry uh, with some pinks and this is mainly just to add a little bit more warmth to the color and sort of just give it a little bit of a hue shift here and there because I didn't want it to be just monochromatic. Now as well as that I also went in with a little bit of Payne's Grey. Now this is mainly just for me to deepen those shadows just a little bit more and uh, make it look a little bit more contrasty. Now that I got the background how I liked it, I went into the character that I'm drawing today and I'm actually using my Copic markers for the main part of this and yeah I love love using my Copics along with my watercolors especially when it's a Copic sort of figure on a watercolor background because you have that really beautiful sort of watercolor effect and uh, you can get more control at least I can get more control with my Copic markers and the colors are both vibrant so they work really well together. Now, for mainly this character, I went in, and as you can see, there is a very, very light line art layer, and I didn't really film that because it took way too long, and it's not a huge part of the end result, but um, yeah, I actually went in with my markers and drew in the shapes and the tones first, uh, before I actually went into the details. Now, this is mainly so I can get the sort of shading and the just the the overall lighting correct and uh, yeah I just went in and I tried to give it a little bit of texture in the fur mainly because fur has a lot of texture in it and yeah I just had a lot of fun just mixing different tones and trying to get a nice result now the main part of the brown 
uh, on this sort of character's fur, uh, I used a lot of different colors. I used a few different browns as well as a few different grays, as well as uh, a few different random colors like orange and blue and yellow, which were mainly for lighting effects. And um, I just sort of blended them around and it was really interesting because I'm actually working on watercolor paper this time it's just sort of a cold pressed uh, random watercolor paper and I actually cut it to size so that it was uh, mainly square and um, I never used Copic markers on this watercolor paper before so it was a little bit of a risk however I did sort of swatch really quickly just with a few different colors on a separate piece of paper uh, the actually the off cut from this piece of paper and um, yeah but it was a very interesting experience definitely <laughs> um, not bad of course but different to what I'm used to but you know what I kind of welcomed that change I really I don't know it was a different experience but I enjoyed it and um, there were a few differences uh, especially the way it blends and the way colors move around and they sort of activate a little bit easily on this paper which I don't mind because uh, that got nice blending but um, it was still absorbent enough that uh, I could layer lots of colors over the top of each other so that was actually pretty good um, I definitely do need to practice more to try and uh, figure out how this paper works and what to do and what not to do but I am enjoying it so yeah um, the reason I'm actually using watercolor paper instead of mixed media paper which is what I would usually use is because I don't have any mixed bead of paper and um, money is a little bit of an issue at the moment so I'm trying to save money where I can so if I got a lot of uh, watercolor paper I can actually see if I can use that with other art supplies now the clothes that Rocket is wearing today is his sort of orangey reddish suit and um, I definitely wanted to get the colors correct in this um, and I went in with mainly some reds and oranges at the start and I went over that later with some browns and some warm grays and a little bit of uh, neutral gray as well and this was just to sort of muddy up the colors a little bit now normally you wouldn't want to muddy up the colors in art however um, this artwork sort of has a bit of a grungy feel to it and it's a little bit more realistic which means that super super saturated bright vibrant colors which is what I love to paint with is not the best idea of course it is a good idea to have some parts uh, more vibrant but when every single color is really really saturated it becomes a little bit less realistic if that makes sense so I definitely tried to keep some saturation in some areas of this artwork but I didn't want the orange to be super super bright orange <laughs> so I definitely wanted to sort of mix uh, around some tones and make it a little bit more dirty and uh, grungy kind of because this character uh, does a lot of sort of fighting things and I kind of wanted to have that uh, sort of reflected on his outfit if that makes sense now probably one of my least favorite parts of making this artwork though I didn't not uh, enjoy it I definitely had fun but it was a little bit more mm, tedious if that makes sense is the gun now um, I probably didn't do it as well as other people could do the gun but I don't draw guns I don't draw geometrical shapes I don't draw like uh, other than one time I don't really draw machinery other than the car that I recently drew um, so that took me quite a while and uh, I, I do like the results but I probably could have done that better I do like it though and it does look like a gun so you know challenge uh, completed I guess <laughs> now the last part of this illustration the last sort of uh, bit where I had to add more detail is uh, texture with the colored pencils because as I said before this is a mixed media artwork so I wanted to go back into the fur and I had planned this from the start by the way uh, go back into the fur and other parts of the illustration and add more detail and texture uh, 
with my colored pencils. Now I mainly did this with uh, the fur and the whiskers of this character because he's got some whiskers that I didn't draw at the start and um, I also wanted to add more, more detail to his eyes as well as just a few little parts here and there where I could add some more highlights or just little effects that I wanted to get and um, yeah I had a lot of fun doing that uh, it's probably one of my favorite parts of an illustration is going back over and adding texture or details or little sort of highlights here and there um, it really makes the artwork pop and stand out and just look really nice especially the gel pen uh, which I'm adding right now I'm just adding little tiny bits here and there to that gun and it just sort of makes it more glossy and metallic as well as uh, making the uh, whiskers stand out more and uh, just little highlights here and there on the edges of the artwork it makes it look uh, a lot more I don't know punchy if that makes sense and yeah um, now is finally the time to add those stars to the galaxy background because that's what was missing from the galaxy now I love doing this this is probably one of my favorite parts of uh, artwork is basically just drawing galaxies I would if I could I would just paint galaxies all day every day and that's all I would paint but you guys probably wouldn't like that but when I have a chance to draw a galaxy I will do it <laughs> um, so yeah uh, here is the final results of this illustration and I love this so much I am so excited to watch Avengers Endgame tomorrow um, my mind's going to be blown and yeah uh please let me know below what you think and have a lovely day please let me know if you are watching avengers endgame and if so what do you think will happen of course no spoilers but yeah anyways have a lovely day i will see you in my next video and yeah bye everyone mm -hmm.